Hi, it's Jennifer with emailmarketingcoach.org. We're going to talk about creating a contact list. When you create your list, Constant Contact provides you a default list called General Interest. You can go in and create more lists or you can use the General Interest list. When you create a new list, this list can either be internal or external. Internal lists are for your own classification purposes and are not meant to be displayed to potential new contacts when they sign up for your newsletter, for example, on your website. You will likely want to break down your contacts into very meaningful categories to better target your different emails that you send out. So these would be your internal lists and they might include something like customer list, preferred customer list, or vendor list. And then external categories are those that will be on display when somebody joins your email sign up from your website, when they join your mailing list. So you want to be careful not to display your internal lists on your join my mailing list form. And we'll see that how we do that in just a second. Okay, so for example, you might have an internal list called paying customers. Well, this is something that you don't want new contacts who are signing up to see. So you would make sure that that is an internal list only. Okay, so how we do this is you're here at your home page when you first sign into Constant Contact and you will click on the Contacts tab. And then you're going to scroll down to Create New and click it. Okay, so we want to type in the name of the list that we wish to create. I'm going to call mine Preferred Customers. Now this is going to be an internal list. So I do not want to check Join My Mailing List form because I do not want new contacts who are signing up to see this list name. Okay, and I do not want the autoresponder to be sent out here because this is not something that people are signing up for. This is a list that I'm creating internally. So I'll leave the, both of these boxes unchecked and then click Save. Okay, now I scroll down in my lists. Notice I've already made several lists here but we should see our new preferred customers list. And notice over here on the right hand side, we have a zero. That means there are no contacts in this list yet. I have not added any. Okay, now if you want to create a list that will be visible to new contacts signing up, here's what you would do. It's a very similar process. So we're here on our contacts page and create new. So on this one, I might wish to call it newsletter sign up. So this is something that I would be okay with all of my new contacts uh, viewing on my website. And this is what I wish for them to see when they are signing up for my mailing list. So I would click join my mailing list form. And then I would click if, if you have an autoresponder that goes out immediately when your, your new contact signs up, then you would go ahead and click the autoresponder if you wish for that to go out. I'm going to leave that unchecked for now and save. And so that's how you create the external list. That will be visible, that name will be visible to your new contacts who are signing up. Now let's say that I want to edit the name of a contact list that I just created. Maybe I want to edit this preferred customers list. 
So what I'm going to do is click Preferred Customers, click on the Edit button right here, and here is my box that I can type in my new name. So maybe I want this to be called Premium Customers instead of Preferred Customers. Save. Okay, so that's how you create an internal and an external contact list, and that's how you edit the name of a contact list.